Howdy. Let's get that going. So how are their wife and kids? Does it smell like fish in here? It smells like fish in here. It doesn't smell like fish in here. It smells like teen spirit? No. <laughs> doesn't smell like that either. Oh my goodness. I should have rode my motorcycle again. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, had a boost. What are y'all looking forward to, huh? I'm looking forward to not having to wear sweaters to work and then sweating on the way home. And it's so hot. So, so. I talk about the lisp like that, it makes me think of the spleen from Mystery Man. Oh, there's your car. The spleen. Bartender, one more round of drinks for my super butt. The super squad. You haven't seen Mystery Man, it's a pretty good movie. About sub-rate superheroes. They don't really have superpowers, but they try. Believe me, they try. The Shoveler, played by William H. Macy. The Blue Raja, played by Hank Azaria. The Spleen, played by Paul Rubens. Mr. Furious, played by Ben Shapiro. No, that was his name. Oh, makes me think of... What is his name? Holy crap, along came Polly. Uh, ben Affleck, no. Ben Stiller, there we go. I, you know how I remembered Ben Stiller? I thought of his dad, Jerry Stiller. Mr. Kruger, I've got a lot to say about you. My son said you couldn't smooth a silk sheet if you had a hot date. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, who else we got in that movie? Old Dane Cook was in that movie. He played Waffle Man! Janine Garofalo, the bowler. Keenan. Keenan. Thomas? played Invisible Boy, who his superpower was going invisible. He's the only one with a real superpower. However, his superpower only worked if absolutely nobody was looking at him. I mean, you, you couldn't write this stuff. You couldn't make this stuff up. So, someone did. You couldn't. No. <laughs> you couldn't. This is, this is going to sound sarcastic, but it's not. I love it when pedestrians are walking across their crosswalk, and they know they've got time. Not that they're strolling, they're taking their time, but they're just like, hey, yes, I'm a pedestrian. It is my right to walk across this road and not get hit by you, the car. Yeah, I'm strutting. Dang right. That sounds sarcastic, but I didn't mean it. I just saw a dude. He's like strutting across the road like, that's right. I'm gonna walk here. If you were looking, you could have seen him right over there, but that's in the past now. That is in the past. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what they say about the future, right? The past is just the future you were worried about at one point. What? <laughs> I feel happy, oh so happy. If you could pick a musical to uh, define your life, what would it be? I would probably go Hello Dolly, you know? Why not? 
Hello Dolly, and I would get Stephen Fry to play me. He's bigger than I am and funnier. Uh, but I, I just like Stephen Fry. He's, he's kind of he's good. He'd play, play me, I'd be Dolly. What about you? What do you think? What would be the musical that would match your life? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think just overall movie, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> uh, Andy Dufresne. Ooh, this guy's gonna make it. Well done. That semi driver should get a bonus. Who crawled through a mile and came out clean on the other side. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Go, 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 jump, jump! Go, go, go! I don't get motivated by yelling. Do you guys get motivated by yelling? That's probably why I never yell at my students. I sometimes I give them a stern talking to. <laughs> I can't bring myself to yell at people because I just don't I, don't, I don't respond to that. With yelling, I usually clam up and lock myself away inside. Uh, when I was signing up for the gym, uh, for a gym yesterday, I was asking they. If I wanted a trainer, are they going to be the kind that yell at me? Because I might just say, dude, just ask me to do these things, you know? Hey, could you please lift this another time? Yeah. Oh. People don't like stereotypes generally, right? I would, I would like to live my life based on a stereotype. And I wish I could pick and choose the stereotypes. Obviously some stereotypes are kind of <laughs> giant turds. Speaking of giant turds, guess what happened to me yesterday? appreciate you guys joining me on this drive home. It's this lovely day, this lovely drive. Uh, I'm going to go a different way today. I'm going to turn pretty soon here. I'm going to turn. Should I turn right or left? What do you think? This isn't live, but tell me. Which way should I turn? <gasps> You're correct. I'm going to turn right. Just like the old man said. One of these days, boy. One of these days you're gonna turn right. That's what my that's what my dad told me. One of these days, boy, I'm gonna show you you're gonna turn right. Or I'm gonna give you something to turn about. I think it's perfect to itch your eye with your pinky. Hey! What is going on? Why are you just sitting there? It's been a green light for an hour and a half. Oh, 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 it's an earthquake. No, it's potholes. Oh. So with glasses off, I wipe my eye with this hand, this finger. But with glasses on, you can't because you got to use your pinky. Just a little FYI if you ever got glasses. In case you were... Oh, I feel like I need to be on an infomercial. Is your hand getting in the way when you're trying to wipe your and rub your eye? Do you wear glasses? If so, I've got a trick for you. Should be on one of those BuzzFeed quizzes. Things you're probably doing wrong. Goodness. Did you know you're supposed to eat corn from the top down? Did you know that? You don't believe me? Google it. Google will tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> S 
school zone, slow down. School zone, go slow. School zone, 20. School zone, school zone. That's, I feel like that's the only place where people actually follow the speed limit, you know? In a school zone. Everywhere else, school zone, 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Gotta do it. Everywhere else, speed limit, 75. Eh, I'll do 90. Speed limit, 42 or 45. Ah, uh, I feel like 42 today. But not a school zone. I'm not doing less than 20. I'm not doing more. I'm doing 20 right on the dot. Well, hello, Dolly. Say hello, Dolly. Name that musical that I was just whistling. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little broke right now, so I can't send you a prize. But name it, and you'll be entered to win the next prize. Anyway, just name it for fun. What was I whistling just then? It's a fun little musical as well. That's right. It's fun. It's fun. Musicals are fundamental. It's mental if you don't think it's fun. What about it's fun because it's in there? Get out of here, Toby. Get out. So, you know in the office how Michael's always rude to Toby? I had a guy work for me once. He came in and... His name was Toby, but every time I saw him, he's a fantastic dude. He was late a lot, so eventually he ended up getting fired, but... He was nice and personable and funny, hilarious. But every time I saw him, I just wanted, oh, Toby, not again. Toby, what is it? I just wanted to yell at him only because his name was Toby. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That's sad, isn't it? Look, look what you made me do, office. You made me do it. I, don't have, I can't make my own decisions. The TV tells me. Oh, 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 don't go, don't go. Don't go, don't go, now go! So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give a shout out to a couple of students I have in uh, quite a few states across the country. They have this thing called syllabi literacy, right? Syllabi literacy, basically it goes on your high school diploma. It means you're biliterate, right? That's pretty fancy. Um, Usually, most students in our district, they take it at level four and above uh, of the language, of a foreign language. Um, the last couple of years, our school has helped, helped us out and paid for people level three and above to take it. I have a couple of students because of circumstances. They were in level one French two years in a row just because of the way things worked. And I told them, you know, you're gonna be in this class, you might be bored, but there's still a lot of stuff you can work on in practice. Two years in a row, they were in level one. They took this test. You had to score at least five on three of the four categories. Which these two students were able to do. Two level one classes and one, like a half of a year on in a level three and above class. And they were able to qualify for the syllabi, syllabi literacy. That was just simply amazing. Yes, I told them. I was so proud. I'm just proud of all of my students that took it as they did a really good job. But I was just so amazed. They took French one two times and basically they're ready for the AP test, advanced placement test. Well done to you two. Give a shout out without realizing it. Oh, Kathleen Wasserlein. <laughs> uh, that's two people with one name. How do you like that? Nobody knows now who they are. 
And with that, I'll bid you a fond farewell.